All right, I'm back. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, this is Thanksgiving night. Uh, I already had my festivities, and now I'm back at home. I figure I'd get in a shave before I go to bed. So, we are doing something a little bit different today. No beer, but we still got a shave ridge. This is um, roasted dandelion root uh, herbal tea. So, going a little bit uh, mellow and elderly today. <laughs> uh, so, the dandelion root tea is good for like uh, detoxifying and um, shit like that. I really don't know. But uh, I heard it was good for the liver, and considering how much I drink, I um, figured that'd be good for me. So let's give it a shot. And actually, I've already had it before. I know it's pretty good. Um, throw a little bit of honey in there just to uh, take away some of the bitterness. We got our fresh hop pre-party um, coffee mug. Very nice little coffee mug. Thick walls. And it tastes real good. It tastes real good. So, let us get into it. What are we using today? I decided to go with Hags. <laughs> oh, I love their name, Hags. Uh, have a great shave. And this one is their vegan soap, and it is Aftermath. So, very nice artwork by Hags. Um, Pretty much across all lines, Hags, their artwork is phenomenal. Uh, side label included. It kind of has like this uh, semi-gloss um, look to it. Very, very nice. Vegan soap base. We got an absolute uh, laundry list. Star Wars intro, if you will, of... Um, ingredients there so it is vegan handcrafted in Athens Greece in small batches uh, four ounces very nice stuff um, <clears throat> you can see a good looking smooth pour there and you can see where I scoop some out this one is a firm soap it is quite firm indeed so let's go ahead and give you guys a look at the back they do a couple uh, cool things Hags does. They got the scent notes on the back. So top notes of oregano, pepper, bergamot, and uh, middle notes of incense, opoponax, and amber and labdanum. And then the base notes leather, argarwood, which is oud, um, sandalwood, and patchouli. And then they say it's kind of like a medium high scent strength in their estimation. So, really cool. They put the whole list of scent notes and even their take on what they think the scent strength is. We got it all whipped up right here in the beautiful Lancaster Razor Work Shave Bowl. Now we're going to use an oldie but a goodie from my collection. This is the Crazy Badger. This was actually my first ever um, custom brush or artisan, artisan brush, if you will. Uh, not a custom, I didn't order it, but it is uh, my first ever artisan brush. Crazy Badger is no longer making brushes, but um, very cool. I've been using a lot of unobtainium lately. And then it has a no no hype, no name uh, Badger Knot on top. Let's go ahead and get some water on the face. So, um, Aftermath comes to us for $24, 4 ounces, vegan soap base. And I believe it's available. I believe that comes off of their prices from the Razor Company. But I know there's other uh, vendors that stock hags as well. Very happy to see um, an artisan from across the pond really doing it big and uh, diving into the wet shaving space. Let's go ahead and do one more thing before we get started. I pulled out... Barrister and Man's Terror Raid. Um, I don't know why I did it, but this is a cooling additive of synthetic menthol, and they got their extremely cold disclaimer on the side. 
Let's uh, crack this bad boy open. And so synthetic menthol doesn't really do it for me. I know a lot of people, they say, you know, three drops is all it takes for their face to be frozen. Uh, that's not how it works with me. It does not, um, it does not cool me the same way that it does others. It just gives me like a tingling sensation. And it doesn't really give me like any real chill factor. So you can see there, that was about half a vial. It's definitely going to have a negative impact on the lather. Um, the the Terror Raid, the Terror Raid definitely, it, it's sort of in the same vein of real menthol. It, it has a negative impact on the lather. So don't, um, don't blame hags if the lather starts breaking down a little bit. There's really no need for me to use half a vial, but there's just kind of, there's something in me to, uh, dis, not discredit, but there are naysayers that say, you know, like, oh, you can't use half a vial. You can't, no way, you know, it, it, shit like that, you know? So, eh, we still got, we still got a fairly good lather. So, anyhow, besides all that, hope everybody had a wonderful turkey day. Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving. I definitely had a great time. I woke up this morning feeling like absolute dog shit. I went out, <laughs> went out last night after work and, um, tied one on with some old friends and I was I was feeling it this morning man woke up felt like shit uh, made myself throw up <laughs> just to get it out of my system then I went back to bed after taking some uh, pills for my headache and I slammed a couple glasses of water back to back and then I went back to sleep. And then when I woke up the second time, uh, still had a headache, still felt dehydrated as all get out. And, uh, but I needed to get started with my day. So I woke up, slammed a couple more glasses of water, um, started getting together the ingredients for my jalapeno bacon mac and cheese, my homemade mac and cheese, which was my main contribution to the evening's dinner at my father's house. And, um, went ahead and got that out of the way, got over there early, made my mac and cheese while spending time with my dad and, and, uh, stepmother. Oh, that's nice. And, um, <clears throat> we proceeded to have a fantastic evening. Um, so today we're going to be shaving with the Supply Company um, Injector. I was about to say the Supply Company Schick Injector, and that would have been stupid of me. Uh, but we got a fresh Supply Injector blade loaded up as well. Brand new blade. This is pretty much the only modern injector available to us that I'm aware of which in my opinion is an absolute travesty and to all the modern safety razor makers across the board I feel like they are all doing us a disservice by not making more modern injector style razors. Even if it doesn't have the injector uh, laid blowing, lay, blade, Jesus Christ, blade loading mechanism, even if you have to hand load it just like you do any other DE razor, who cares? It's not a deal breaker for me. But 
somebody, if not all of you. <laughs> Modern safety razor manufacturers. You guys, there's no excuse. All of you should have an injector style razor in your catalogs. Doesn't have to be the first razor you come out with or the second, but I mean, the third? You know what I mean? Like, when the Schick Injector came out, it was like a close number two to the Gillette Safety Razors. They were mass produced in many, many households across the world. You know, they took up like half of the market space. People use Schicks all the time. It was commonplace. To have a, an injector razor in your house there is just no excuse in my opinion no excuse they might not be as popular as double-edged safety razors these days but I feel like that's just because they're not getting the same representation um, they're not getting pushed they're not getting pushed the same if they were getting pushed the same, then they would have the same success. There's no doubt about it. Because they're good razors. So. A call to action is what I'm asking for. If you are a razor maker, get your ass in gear. Doesn't have to be the first razor you make or the second, but it, you should have one in your catalog. I mean, come on. Get with the program. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Kind of got lost in that rant. Okay, so. Um, my Thanksgiving dinner. Fantastic. <laughs> um, as per usual, my family does it up. We do it right. So, we had two turkeys. One, you know, in the oven, cooked in the oven. Kind of a basic bitch style. And then we add one deep fried, which is kind of like the uh, hype style, deep fried turkey. And then we had a, um, a nice ham and everything across the board. Both turkeys, juicy, um, moist, for those of you that don't like the word moist. Um, they were, both birds were fantastic. The, the, the crust on the skin of the deep fried one was fucking nice. Seasoned very well, full of flavor. The ham was sweet and basically, it, you could basically just pull it apart. It, it was so tender. The ham was phenomenal. We had, um, some nice potatoes and gravy. I made my uh, bacon jalapeno mac and cheese, which, not tooting my own horn, but I thought it was the fucking best side that we had available to us. But we had uh, sweet potatoes, we had green bean casserole, um, a, a bunch of various other things. I'm a picky eater, so I don't partake in any of that shit. <laughs> but, um, and then dessert, we had a mixed berry cobbler, which is my personal favorite dessert uh, across the board. That's my absolute favorite. My grandma makes it for me uh, every year. And then she also made, instead of a pecan pie, she made like a cheesecake with like a pecan topping. And that was fucking nice too. And then we had a homemade pumpkin pie. Had a lot of good spice character to it. Very, very enjoyable. And of course, cookies. Chocolate chip cookies, molasses cookies. Also like a pumpkin spice, uh, pumpkin spice, um, like bunk cake. 
with a like cinnamon white chocolate drizzle. That was a uh, that was a nice surprise. I really enjoyed that one. But things were things were great. I had a great time with my family. So we the last couple of years we've been doing this game where the uh, they wrap up um, prizes, a ton of little knickknacks and prizes, money, lottery tickets, gift cards, uh, makeup, um, uh, little miniature shots of alcohol, you know, all kinds of little knickknacks. And they make a massive saran wrap um, ball. And there's many, many breaks in the chain. And then you have to unravel it like with uh, oven mittens on. And the whole, you're kind of, everybody's circled around the table. And, and um, one person's unwrapping it and everything that comes out while they're unwrapping it is their winnings and um the next person in line is rolling a dice as fast as or two die as fast as they can trying to trying to roll um doubles and then once they roll doubles the person that's unraveling it has to stop take off the mitts and hand it to the next person um so we're going around and it's just madness you know, we're making fun of each other and laughing. And, you know, some of us are really rolling that, uh, that saran wrap ball. Just prizes just fucking flying out of it because of the speed of which, uh, you're unwrapping it, you know. And then you come to a break in the chain and then now you're like panicking trying to find the next, uh, starting point with those oven mitts. It's it's hilarious, it's absurd, but it's a lot of fun. And uh I actually I actually got to unravel it twice and I won. <laughs> and um there was a fifty dollar bill at the uh at the base of the ball. So I ended up leaving with fifty one dollars, a couple uh pieces of chocolate, um a pretty pink coin purse, <laughs> which I gave to my niece, some condoms, and um, <laughs> some anti-frizz hair conditioner, which I gave to my uh, older cousin. <laughs> so just a bunch of little knickknacks and some money, and just a just it, it was a blast. It was it was a blast. Um, I recommend looking it up and doing it with your families. It's it's fun. Then after that, we did our our annual uh, Pictionary. We love doing Pictionary with the family. So we split up into two teams. And this year, um, my team fucking dominated. I think the other team didn't even make it a quarter of the way through their, uh, through the board before we closed them out. And that's after being generous and <laughs> um at a certain point we were like we'll just do head to head every time even if it's not an all play just so that they had a chance to kind of slow us down and uh we still we still fucking clobbered them it was a it was a massacre if you will nobody on that team should leave that table with their head held high <laughs> we fucking annihilated them Oh, but just so much fun, so many laughs, just a ton to be thankful for. I love uh, my family gatherings. It's I hear people, you know, that, uh, you know, some people, they don't like their family as much. That is not my case. I am very thankful for my family. I love my family. And uh, I had a wonderful time. And I really hope that all of you watching had a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving with your families as well. Ooh, excuse me. So, I don't have the uh, matching aftershave to this one. 
but I need to get it because this is based off of uh, Amouage Interlude Man, and boy do I love Amouage. They make some fucking nice scents. Um, and this one is no exception. It's a wonderful scent. But since I didn't have a matching aftershave splash, I, uh, I just pulled out St. James. I came across it. It's not necessarily in the same vein as um, Aftermath. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good tonight. So this one is kind of a, a gourmand scent, if you will. And... It has some staying power. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, probably, I'll probably smell it when I wake up tomorrow, to be honest. St. James is a fucking projection beast and it has massive longevity. And if it touches my clothes, it's gonna get stuck in my clothes until, until I wash them. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, but it's a wonderful gourmand scent. And it just sounded like the right thing to use tonight. I got a wonderful shave with the supply injector. And I just had a great day. A rough start, but a really great day. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. I uh, hope you had a good day as well. Let me go ahead and grab my drink to close this out. So, cheers, and I'll catch you on the next one.